An armored truck targeted by robbers, shots fired, a bag of cash gone, and now a manhunt is underway for four suspects. A witnesses heard the shots at the Bank of America on Vermont Avenue near Sepulveda Boulevard in Harbor City and then took cover. And CBS 2's Tina Ezzedine is live on scene in Harbor City with what she's learned so far. Tina? That's right, Pat and Jeff. This entire parking lot is blocked off here behind me as investigators try to find some type of detail that will lead them to the suspects that hit up the guard of that armored truck as he was coming out of the bank. He's okay, the sheriff's department confirms to me moments ago, but the truck, the cash that he was carrying, it's gone. An emergency call. Robbery of an armored truck outside this Bank of America. People are getting desperate. Witnesses hearing gunshots. At least five to seven. And we didn't know what it was. We thought it was probably like, um, you know, like a car's engine or something, but no. All before noon on a Monday. Broad daylight. It's crazy. Just be careful. A security guard inside this armored truck parked front row. The company Loomis servicing the bank. So he parked his vehicle, walked inside, picked up the money. As he was walking back out, that's when the suspects approached him. Several suspects seen wearing all black robbed the armored truck security guard. So you think these suspects knew that the security guard was going inside to get some money? Correct. That's what it sounds, it sounds like. They were probably waiting in the parking lot. Shots fired. The suspects take off. The armored truck security guard rushed to a hospital. Yeah, I hope they catch him. You know, it's, it's kind of crazy. A witness pulling up to use the ATM seconds before the shooting revealed someone yelled, get out, warning him of danger ahead. He did. His truck left behind as local and federal investigators comb for clues in a parking lot in a crime for cash. Back now live, if you look in this parking lot, you might notice something, both a Bank of America and a Wells Fargo ATM. Investigators here believe that the suspects knew exactly that and were probably in prime position in this parking lot waiting so they could eventually make their move. Today, they did. Still nowhere to be found. We're live in Harbor City. I'm Tina Ezzedine. Jeff and Pat, back over to you. All right.